here you can see the measurement it's showing the distance when I come closer the distance is minimal when I go far away the distance is mature more like so when I stand up distance on make a code to measure the distance how we can measure the distance from an object especially from a person how the person is far away from the camera so here you can see how the code is working so let's start it so i have already the code here so i'm going to i'm using the note book so you can also use if you want like spider so here is the code for the spider file dot py so here is the code for notebook so before running this code make sure you have har cascade classifier har cascade classifier the objective of har cascade classifier is to detect your faces in the video so if you can see here how the code is working here we have necessary libraries we have to import that one then we have to call the hair cascade method that here is that so it this file the xml file will detect your face in the particular video and then so on so here is the log file to generate a log for uh, the webcam when you are uh, like uh, running the video and it will appear the log for this one you can see here so it will show the log of your when you are detecting the face so later on when we go we are capturing the video here then after capturing the video we are getting the frame here and then this line we are going to write write over file also if you want to write if you don't want to write just commit this line it will goes so after that here is the basic measurement that required to measure the distance uh, in meters so the formula so there here is the file that running while true means infinity loop that capturing the frame from for each video and then converting into the rbg to uh, to gray scale for detecting the faces and after detecting the faces uh, here we are making a bonding bonding box near to the faces and later on if you can see the small area here is the function for if we find the face so then here is uh, the focal length divided by phase zero by if you can see the focal length here we have the focal length that we are calculating from this so we have to we are making from this so if you can see here the video ends so after when you are taking the video so here is you can press q to break that video like close the file so this is the small file a script that helps you to detect the faces so you can you can change the known distance in a bit it's 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 up to you uh, so how like you decide this value if you are going to measure it may be vary from from your cases so here is uh, the small snip of the code so you can just press uh, run and you can see how it detect you can also run this file so by using a uh, spider you can just paste the code here like uh, for my case i'm using the mac m1 so some files are not detectable for here so you can use this one and try it maybe so yeah i'm getting some sort of error while running this from here so i usually use uh, this file so let me close this one here and my case so when i run this one so it worked perfectly 
you can see here it is working perfectly thank you so much for watching this code so let me run shift enter when i press the shift enter so it will open my cam so you can see here let me open this cam here is the cam so i'm recording the videos so you can see the distance measurement here when i move far away like it's showing seven seventy above meter so when i move far away so the, the, the distance is increasing so it is detecting my face and showing the distance when i come closer to the camera so the distance is mm, is minimum when i go far away from the camera so you can see when i move with my chair so distance is increasing so here i'm moving more far away i'm just standing up and trying to move for more far away yeah the distance is 